Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to look up your IP address information. And there's a couple different tools we'll look at. To, just before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you'll be able to check out all of our future videos. Let's go ahead and right click on our start menu. Then we're going to left click on the run option. Inside of this text field, go ahead and backspace everything out. And we're going to type the letters CMD, like Charlie, Mary, David. We're going to hit OK. From here, we want to maximize this window so we can see everything that's going to pop up on it for us. And we're going to type the letters I P C O N F I G. That's going to be IP as an in internet protocol and then config. From there, we are going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to see a bunch of stuff pop up in white text on the screen. The two that you're going to be looking for is if you're hardwired, you will be looking for Ethernet adapter. This particular one, media disconnected, means it's not plugged in. Then we're going to look for our wireless adapter, which happens to be how I am running this test environment. So you'll see that we have a link local IPv6 address. This is not currently in use by our local network. However, the adapter is assigned a IPv6 address. You'll also see the IPv4 address that's assigned by our network, as well as the subnet mask and the default gateway. Most IP addresses in your local network are going to be 192.168.something.something .something or 10.10.something.something. .10 .something. Your default gateway will also typically be very mirroring in the first three columns to your IP address. So in this case, 192.168.99.1 is the gateway, .119 is the IP address. The subnet mask is traditionally going to be 255.255.255.0 in your home networks. Again, that, that one doesn't matter whether, whether it's a 10.10 or a 192.168. Let's go ahead and take a look at one other way. We're going to X out of this. We're going to come over to the start menu and left click and we're going to type in network here you're going to see network status go ahead and click on that it's going to show that you're connected to the internet which is a good thing tell it does tell you what network and whether it's public or private and then you're going to come down here and click view your network properties here you're going to again see a whole plethora of information we'll start with the ethernet connection again which you can see ethernet you're going to see a MAC address. You're going to see an IP address. You're going to see an IPv6 address. These are local addressing that is not assigned to anything that connects to the internet. Same thing with that DNS server. It's all local there. The physical address is a serial number of sorts for your network card. You will see that it is disconnected. Again, we already said we're not using that. Now, if we scroll on down to the Wi-Fi connector, you'll see that it is connected to the internet. And then we're going to see some information, a description of it, the serial number. Again, the status is operational about how fast it's going and it's link receive and transmit uh, your IP address. Did you obtain it through DHCP, which will be important for some of your troubleshooting. You'll also see when you leased it and when it expires, that's set up by the DHCP server, not anything that you can change. The IPv4 address is going to show here, and it's also going to have a slash and 24 that tells us uh, some networking terms on what kind of subnet it's on. The IPv6 address again shown here, default gateway. And now here we can see our DNS servers. That's quad nines or four eights. And then you'll see the network name, whether it's public or private. And again, that's status. Some other things you may see in here are different Ethernet connections, depending how you are set up. I have a docking station, so we're seeing my docks Ethernet as well. And I have a virtual box that I can pop up. Uh, so that is all going to show in your networking properties. The next thing we can do if we want to modify some information, we can go ahead and hit back on that little button. We can hit Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I always love hitting Ethernet. Change adapter options. This is going to pop us up a screen that shows all of your connections here. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and then the others. 
In this particular case, we're going to go ahead and look at the connected one and we can right click on it, hit status, and then details. You're going to again see some of that similar information, if not the exact same information. Go ahead and hit close on that. Since we're not looking at it at this moment, we can hit wireless properties or we can hit properties itself. If we hit properties, it's going to bring us into the Wi-Fi properties menu where you will see internet protocol version four. You hit properties and this is where you can set or change your IP addressing information. Yes, that was a little bonus piece. I was just telling you how to get to it, but I also wanted to show you how to change it if you had to. This will work on both Ethernet, Wi-Fi connections, anything with an IPv4 protocol. All right, guys, that is it. The quick and dirty of how to check your IP address. I want to thank you all for watching this, and please don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much again, and have a great day.